I'm George Teitelbaum. I'm the director of the Pacific Stroke and Aneurysm Center. As regional director of neurointerventional surgery for Providence, California, I also play a role in helping our newer physician members and also to set up scientific clinical trials. Providence St. John's Health Center is a endovascular capable primary stroke center, meaning that we're able to perform the important functions of mechanical thrombectomy. What I do to treat aneurysms is to use minimally invasive techniques to place a small tube within the aneurysm cavity, the, the bubble cavity, and to fill up this cavity with a material that will prevent blood flow to the aneurysm and prevent it from either bleeding again or bleeding in the first place. It's important to note that not all aneurysms present to us already ruptured. Some are unruptured and in many cases they're found accidentally or they may, may appear due to some other symptoms such as uh, drooping of the eyelid or double vision caused by the aneurysm's pressure on what are called cranial nerves exiting the brain. These are very important symptoms picked up by our colleagues, say for instance, in ophthalmology. And a patient may be sent to us because of these symptoms and we discover an aneurysm that needs repair. The main treatment uh, options that I would offer for aneurysm therapy would be embolization of an aneurysm using coils, flow diversion, and um, also we perform embolization of vascular malformations either before surgery or before radiation therapy. I think the biggest advantage for patients coming to see me for stroke and aneurysm care at PNI would be that we have a variety of uh, experts who can use their own uh, special skills to bear upon their problem. And uh, it's all under one roof. And this will uh, help to uh, have a more uh, coordinated approach to their care.